In a developing story, tragedy hits a Kansas City family just days after Christmas. Firefighters say two babies died in a house fire. And tonight, 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey spoke to a neighbor who watched it all unfold. Tom. Well, Kevin, at this hour, we can actually get the closest look yet at some of the damage done to the inside of the home. If you look at the second floor of this home, that is where the fire all began before tragedy occurred inside. I peeked out the window and saw like the blaze and just kind of ran out and was hoping that the kids weren't in there. The emergency along Woodland Avenue all began around two Thursday afternoon. You could just see the smoke coming like from down the street. A fire starting inside this home, burning multiple rooms, shattering windows and even spreading to the roof. Neighbor Leah Massey could only think of the family inside. I was like, oh, I know two kids live there. And that's the first thing I thought about were like little boys because we have kids here. A woman and four children rushing to safety, but the flames and smoke claiming the lives of one year old twins and leaving fellow neighbors heartbroken. God bless them and their family. Uh, my prayers go out to them. With the home just doors down from the church the family attends, fellow members arrived on Thursday afternoon hugging one another, shocked at the sad news. We're a praying family. Our church is like a family oriented family church and we're just praying for the family. Church member Linda Braxton told 41 Action News the family moved to the home just a few months ago. She remembers often seeing them at services. This is a very happy, close-knit family, you know, children are always happy. A fire leaving two children dead and a church community vowing to help the family through a tragic time. Anytime there's children, there's, you know, a need, so we're going to help provide for those needs. Another look at some of the damage outside the home. As you can see, some police tape still remains up at this hour. A cause of this fire still remains under investigation. Live in KCMO, I'm Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.